aborted, we're aborted. And again, the pattern continues. A little bit of a frustration for all, but we do need to get fair starts and drivers do need to learn that uh, you have certain responsibilities at the start as well as wanting to get the best advantage you can. Well, we'll stop saying that uh, this might be the series round that's produced the most aborted starts. I say that with some conviction. I certainly wouldn't want to rely on my memory over 10 minutes, let alone 10 years, but I just do not believe that we've had anything like this number of aborted starts, not by a big margin. And just wonder why it's maybe the, I have really hypothesized why there's so much looking over your shoulder. I just wonder if it's the shape of this PF circuit, the symmetrical nature of it. Who knows why, but it is happening. We try again. Saxon but I promise you they're racing on British licenses. So for today, they're Brits as well. We try again. And we're racing, and Thomas Prining again getting the better start. Jane Jar going with him very powerfully. That looked like uh, Juan Manuel Correa as well, who was in third place. We've got yellow flags. Chris has got his... Glasses up, and there's a couple of guys. I don't think they were at the front. It was Maxim Shotland, the Russian. Thanks to Chris Hartley for his eagle eye on that one. Maxim Shotland, the guy. And there goes a change for the lead, and that looks like Janie Jar taking the lead. Janie Jar jumps into the lead. In second place now, Juan Manuel Correa, cart number eight. Oh, and it's going wrong for the American. He drops to third as well, because moving up into second place is cart number 22, Connor Hall. And Connor Hall has got about five cart lengths to chase down Janie Jar. And Janie Jar may well feel that he could even kick for home from here. Because although it's the opening lap, it's only a six lapper. And here at uh, PF, when we have these laps in about 58 seconds, it only makes it a five minute race or so. Let's see what the margin is at the end of the opening lap. 0.32 of a second. Well, Connor Hall is already reeling him in. Guan Yu Zhou has also gone past Juan Manuel Correa. And although Janie Jar does have a clear lead, that's only about one and three quarter lengths as they come off the Litchfield Bridge down towards the hairpin, the first right hairpin into the long serpentine. The bid for the lead by Connor Hall works. And Connor Hall goes into the lead. He's followed by Guan Yu Zhou. And all of a sudden, Janie Jar, the race leader with the big lead, is in third place coming down, uh, coming away from us and a little bit of wheel bumping and a little bit of a ooh from Jill but nevertheless that front running three in those Tony Cart colours still there Connor Hall one, Guan Yu Zhou two Janie Jar three and as we peer out of the window we do see three Tony Cart race suits but we do feel pretty confident in telling you that it is Connor Hall, Janie Jar and Guan Yu Zhou. This is the start of lap three. Oh and it was Leonard Hogenbaum who's just gone past Juan Manuel Correa. So Leonard Hogenbaum also having his best race of the year in my opinion. The Dutchman is up to fourth. Yeah, Hugenbaum and uh, Korea with the two wheel banging on the way out of the second hairpin uh, just at the end of the previous lap. One news you closing, closing, closing under breaking to the race leader. Connor Hall leads. And Korea goes back into fourth rather surprisingly. Ooh, we'll look all over the <laughs> grass goes Hugenboom trying to find traction. And Tr Tommy Prining goes fourth. fourth. Yeah, Tommy Prining pounces, takes advantage, gets ahead of one man. Well, Korea, Philip Hamprecht. Just tucked in behind them as well. Dennis Tice is in that battle as well. And so too is Finley Hutchinson. So some great squabbles going on there. Uh, Hall, Zhu and Nijar, though, the top three, getting away from all of that. They're about a second and a half clear of fourth place. There are six carts battling over fourth position. I feel desperately sorry for Maxime Stotland, who for the second time today comes to grief at the start of the race underneath the bridge. That's two times that's happened to him today. But what about these two then? The two teammates, don't remember, don't forget at uh, the last round in Italy, these two came together with half a lap to go when Zhu led. Hall went for the lead. He uh, had a bit of contact and neither of them won the race. So uh, Connor Hall leading for now. Zhu is closing up under breaking 
again at the hairpin, but Connor Hall is pretty late himself. Jane Ajar just about three car lengths behind them in third place. Tommy Prining coming, fighting back through now to fourth place and a couple of seconds behind them, but pulling well clear now of Juan Manuel Carrera in fifth place. Philip Hamprecht still in sixth. Hugen Boom is seventh. Hutchinson is eighth. Dennis Tice is ninth. Darren Keane is rounding out the top ten and we're already coming up to the end of lap number four. So at the end of this one, there'll be two more laps to go, Ken. Yeah, don't want to be too whimsical about this, but when you were talking about Connor Hall and Guan Yu Zhou, the two teammates, I wanted to say the two teammates, but you could have been forgiven for thinking they weren't. But hey, this is the last lap. Uh, sorry, this is the end of lap four. This is lap five that we come up to, and the two guys racing fairly sensibly. It's, oh, very sensibly. And of course, it's a third teammate behind them in Jay Nijar, but Jay is about eight cart lengths behind Guan Yu Zhou at the moment but Joe just having a think you could almost see inside his head there Connor Hall didn't do anything wrong but uh, Joe just looking and saying to himself inside can I squeeze through and in fact Joe putting the pressure on although Connor Hall making the exit from that right hand hairpin rather sharper than Joe and as a result there's not quite that closeness that there was as I anticipated when they came out of the Serpentine. And uh, number 35, Savannah Megan Courtney, has come to a halt at the first hairpin. So the Spaniard out of the race. The cart was stranded on the circuit for a time, but the marshal has now helped uh, to get that cart out of the way. The sun creeping out through the clouds now as the race leader goes on to the final lap here. Connor Hall looking for his second win of the day. Guan Yuzu is also looking for his second win of the day in qualifying but if they both stay where they are they'll both be through very safely into the pre-final and both be through with good grid position so there is no need from either point of view to do anything drastic here just sit where you are well particularly Connor Hall he'll be quite happy to sit where he is when he in the lead of the race but Guan Yuzu needs to keep his uh, he needs to keep his head screwed on here and I think he will because Guan Yuzu has driven in the heat so far in the three rounds of the championship very sensibly and uh, doing a good job there in second place. Jane Ajar likewise looking good in third. Tommy Prining is reeling him in in fourth place, but less than half a lap to go now. I don't think he's going to have time to catch up. So it looks like Hall, Zhu and Nijar will be the top three. Just wonder if Finlay Hutchinson can... Well, he's certainly got Juan Manuel Carrera in his sights. Just wonder if he can catch him in the last quarter of a lap. Don't think it is going to happen, but the chequered flag comes out and Connor Hall gets his second victory of the day. Guan Yu Zhou second, Jay Nijar third, Thomas Prining fourth, Juan Manuel Correa did hold on to fifth place, Finley Hutchinson sixth, Philip Hamprecht seven, Leonard Hoganboom may be a shade disappointed to drop to eighth, a good drive for Darren Keane into ninth place, and Dutchman Dennis Tice completing the top ten. Sorry that I cut across you late in that uh, lap, Chris, but I just wondered if we were going to get one late passing move from... Uh, sixth to fifth well, it was fairly settled at the front wasn't it in all honesty between the top four once they got through that first couple of laps it, it had the air of uh, drivers who knew they'd uh, done enough really to qualify and didn't want to do anything silly and quite rightly so so there are the results coming up on screen strawberries are in season aren't they at the moment first second and third Connor Hall, Grand Use You and Jane Jar for strawberry racing Thomas Prining fourth mixed day but he'll be safely through to the pre-final and should have a reasonable grip position despite that one bad result. Juan Manuel Correa, the American in fifth position. Well, South American on the American license. Finley Hutchinson, I think that might be his best result of the day uh, in and sixth all, place. All on his debut, of course, in the Rotax Euro Challenge. So a tremendous effort. Just looking back at that, I think uh, he's very inexperienced in junior racing anyway. And a good, good showing by cart number 90. Impressed as well as you, Chris. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, just looking through the results so far today. I'm pretty sure that is the first time we've seen Finley in the top six. So well done, Finley Hutchinson. And Philip Hamprecht, he's been solid today as well, hasn't he? The German should be uh, quite high up the grid for the pre-final tomorrow. We won't know until they work all the calculations out. But looking at the way Philip has driven and the results that he's had, he's been in the top six already today. Uh, that's a seventh place finish to add to the results for the Paul Carr racing driver. Uh, in fact, he's had two top six finishes today already. So yeah, Philip Hamprecht, I think, will be well up in the, in the uh, order in the pre-final, possibly even in the top 10. Uh, Leonard Hugenboom, eighth for team TKP. Uh, ninth, Darren King, 10th, Dennis Tice. The rest of the order there you can see uh, on screen. Only two retirees. One was at the very start of the race, Maxim Stotland, caught up in a three-way tangle. 
trouble is, I suppose, with qualifying, if you are near the back of the, the field, you just get squeezed into those first two corners. And it's happened twice now to Maxine, the Russian driver, who's come a long way to be here. I feel sure will not be an automatic qualifier. And we'll have to see what he can do from the second chance race tomorrow. You never know, but I, I doubt he'll creep in. Savannah Megan Courtney was the other non-finisher. The cart just, just uh, touring around to now. So at least we've got the cart fired up and Savannah getting herself uh, well at least avoid the indignity of trailing back on the recovery <laughs> wagon which poor old Maxim had to. he has yeah back on the uh, the recovery truck 